In this video, we're going to cover how to track clicks on phone numbers using Google Tag Manager for Google Analytics, the universal analytics version. And this will work for both desktop browsers and mobile browsers. So I have this phone number here on this page. And if you'll notice in the bottom left corner, when you hover over it, it gives you the link. So this link starts with TL colon and then gives us the phone number. And we can also see that when we use the inspect function. So we have the phone number highlighted here and the link, it tells us what the link is. If you look at a link that just goes to another web page, you'll see that the href value is just set to another URL. So with that information, you want to go into Google Tag Manager and check your variables. So go to that section in the left navigation and click on variables and take a look at the built-in variables. Make sure you have the click variables enabled. And if you don't, what you can do is click on configure and take a look at the variables. And what we really need is the click variables. So that includes all of the variables in, in this section. Make sure those are marked. And once you have that, you can go back to the overview section or the tag section and add a new tag. You can name this GA event phone click, phone number click. Click to add a new tag configuration and choose Google Analytics, Universal Analytics and change the track type to event. For category, you can use something like phone number or contact. For the event action, that'll be click and label. You can use the variable for click URL. So you can choose that by either typing the double brackets to have a list of variables show or you can click this Lego icon and look for the variable that you want and choose click URL. Now I'll speak to the structure of this event tracking data. The way that Google Analytics reports event data is through this hierarchy. So in the top events report, it'll give you a list of the event categories that have been tracked. And you can drill down into each of those categories to see the action. And you can drill down into the event action to see the data for the event label. For the event category, I'm electing to go with contact instead of phone number click because I can categorize some other events under contact. So for example, if I'm tracking clicks on email addresses, that is mail to links, I can also categorize that under this event category of contact. And that kind of keeps the event reporting, the top events report in Google Analytics a bit more clean. In this example, the event label would denote whether the click is on a phone number. And if you also have tracking for email addresses, it would also be noted in the event label as well because the phone number link starts with tell colon and email address links start with mail to colon. But you could also differentiate links if you wanted to categorize them at the event action level. You could use something like phone number click 
for front number specifically, and then for email clicks, you could name the event action email address click. So that's another way you could categorize the events at the event action label. You can keep this non-interaction hit set to false. So that means when this event fires, when a user clicks on the phone number, then it will count as an engagement from the user. And then for the Google Analytics setting, make sure you configure this so that you are sending this event to your Google Analytics. So you either have a settings variable already configured or you can enable the overriding settings in this tag and add your tracking ID here. So I had the tracking ID in already in the settings variable. So I'm going to choose to use this variable that I've configured. Go down to the triggering section, choose to add a new trigger by clicking in that section and we'll create a new trigger and we'll name this phone click phone number click trigger click in this area for the trigger configuration and choose under click just links and then switch the radio option to some link clicks and then for the first drop down here on the left we're going to look for click URL and then change the middle drop down to starts with and in the right field we're going to type in tell colon. So this event tag will fire whenever a user clicks on a link that includes or that starts with tell colon. And that'll tell us or that'll tell Google Tag Manager that it's a phone click link and it'll fire this event and send it to Google Analytics. So save this and then we'll check to make sure all the settings are configured properly. Looks good. So we'll save that and now we'll preview the tag. So we'll grab the website or the URL that we want to preview this on and click on connect. All right, so the tag assistant, the preview mode is connected and we'll go to the page where our phone number lives. And here's our phone number down here. So we'll click on that and it just brings up this notification here. But if we go back to our, our preview page, let's click on continue and we see that our Phone number click event has fired. So we can take a look at what data has been captured. Click on this messages where this tag has fired. So it, it fired for this link click and we see that the trigger, the conditions for the trigger have been satisfied. So it fired this event tag. And if we click on values and then show more, we can see what will be sent to Google Analytics. So the, for the category, it's contact, and then event, action, click, and then the label is the link for the telephone number. Now if we go to Google Analytics, we can validate in the real-time report that this event has been captured. So in the left navigation, click on real time. And we can see that this is our page visit to the page that we were just viewing. 
and you can click on events under real time and we see that our contact event has fired. So if we click on events, we can click into contact, see the event action and the event label. So there it is. There's the configuration for tracking phone numbers with GTM and Google Analytics Universal Analytics version. So please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you found this helpful and we'll see you in the next episode.